Outer Wilds. Alright, so what up guys? I'm just going to do a little intro uh, in the future. Um, I'm just going to do like a tiny little intro. Um, but I want to give some context here. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch videos like this where it was like a chill, relaxed playthrough. And I'm sure they're somewhere, but I can't find any that I enjoy watching. Uh, no shade to anyone, I just can't find any. And I figured to myself, I've watched these as a kid so much of my life that I kind of want to just try making one and putting it out there. So, hopefully somebody enjoys this as much as I enjoyed watching others. But anyways, I don't want to take too long. Outer Wilds. The only thing I know about this game is it's in space. Uh, I played a little bit of the intro, and the music. The music, I know. What is that? Those already? I'm gonna risk a marshmallow first, that's for sure. Oh, I can control it! Okay. Just try not to burn it too much. Oh! I'm so sorry. Sleep, what's up? There's our pilot. Correct. Whoa. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, even on your first solo village. Voyage, not village. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Hmm. All systems go. Glad you're excited. But remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. <laughs> no. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Thanks, Slate. Can I march a different marshmallow? You. Slate said you're blasting off your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going into space, aren't you? You better not change your mind. I want to practice. Uh, if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little. Try to land on the guys. Um, okay. Horizontal thrust. Down. But down. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, now we do control. Okay, now we... Try this different. Kind of a rough landing. We 
it's a little easier than that, because, like, holy shit. Let's try this. <laughs> I don't think that worked. Whoops. When I do it while it's... Oh. Okay. Thank you, Mika. You're a great help. to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's aim me and Ghost open a bottle of the blue stuff. Only seeking adventure amongst one star actually, other stars are too far away. Good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true hearthy in my friend. Alright, so this is Hearth, I guess is the planet Hearth. I gotta burp guys, beware. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error. By which I mean, our ancestors survived even a lot of bad things. What are you eating there, Porphy? I guess that's the good stuff. Alright. Whoa, I, didn't, I almost missed you, Rudile. You're actually blasting off in that thing. Oh. Uh, they don't explode as often anymore. So just to let you know. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Yeah, I definitely crashed one of those. Sorry, I just flung the camera. Presents. This projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite. It is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. Oh, Timber Hearth is the planet. Satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Okay. Whoa. Is that us? No? That's so cool, actually. Oh, well. Taking too long. What's this? Pilot seat used by a pioneering astronaut, Feldspar, is all that remains of an inaugural flight in the space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Earthian history. Okay, are we sure that spaceship is gonna work, or am I just gonna blow up once I enter it and the game's over? Okay. Astronaut stuff, okay. Radio. Where are you? Tomorrow. I'm trying to think of a voice. Good luck, AM. That's good meeting. It's being hard to have a thick about. That one looks like it's not going to be getting old. It's about time we build new days when they morph. That big green event we built over there with the battle. Yeah, they were. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree, buddy. What? No. I'm just thinking the ways I went on to jump it down here, yeah, specifically me. <laughs> I think it was with the time I fell out of and broke my arm, that was when we were hatched, thanks. Who would hold the bridge for that? I think the sound is a little bit fucked. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to fix the sound. Play it fixed. Oh my god. You're not really playing it that well, but... Hello there, Space Cadet. Are you leaving the crater today? You meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. 
made all of the instruments, you know? Let me see. The shirts, drums. Ooh. The Bex Banjo. And Gapro's Front. Felt Bar's harmonica, of course. The Felt Bar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing the harmonica around the campfire. Anywho, you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space programs other travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signoscope and track them down. Cool. Thank you, Nice. Oh, I can't go. Oh, I can't go. Thank you, Nice. Anything over yonder? Nope. Observatory! Yo, these youngsters are up to no good. Hello, astronaut! Oh, they're kids. No, astronaut. I can't, dude. I'm just gonna... Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> Hello, astronaut! It isn't my favorite troublemaker. I knew it. We wanted to play hide and seek. Marine won't let us borrow their signoscope. Because it's really delicate. That's what he's been throwing around like that. Can we use your signoscope there, short? Yep. Okay, the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios. And you'll use your signoscope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Close my eyes. Oh. I have two eyes. Maybe more. Where'd they go? I have a feeling they're not just gonna be... Okay, well that's one of them. That was criminally easy to find this person. Found me, but my hottest spot was super good. I gotta find the other one now. Whoop. Okay, maybe they're easy hiding spots. Right there. Okay. Uh... Oh my! I didn't even mean to find you. I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. You're no problem. Can I jump? Ooh. I wonder if I can make it. I can. Yo, who are you? Siphon. Fish and rhyme, fish and rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. We'll be in the crater. So I'll be a little busy without you land in a hand. That big water plant, giant steep. That's where I'd go. There's a water planet. Ooh. Uh, I need to find hornfells. Can you try the observatory? I've literally never seen some. I've never seen them anywhere else. Okay, okay, okay. okay that shit is loud. Sorry for the egregious cut, it's just a loud waterfall. Hopefully it's not hurting your ears. Guess that's my bad. The fuck? Sorry, I'm back. going on there. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. Good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Use camera where? Oh, it moves. Well, that's cool. It moves. Interesting. I'm gonna go up here. Whoa. Almost missed it. 
I saw smoke coming from Young Bar Crater up north, and I figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Okay. Northwest is Geyser Mountains. South is Quantum Crow. Naomi Ruins. And Brick Crater. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. It's all planets. Whoa. Whoa. Can I line them up? So another one down here. Where is he? Hmm. Okay, so each planet is a sound. So I need to line them all up, but I doubt... Whoa, that was weird. So I need all the... I need to align all the planets up. Whoa, that one's cool. That's a fast one. It's about to pop up. Do I have it? Oh my god, it's right there. Oh, it's all gonna be like that. Okay, I need to line all the planets up. Ooh, that's close. Whoa. Okay. I don't care if there's a main goal in that game, that's my number one goal. Moraine. Hello, astronaut. Good weather for you, don't. Yeah, D. Signal scope to pick up sounds. I already found this out. Last night I heard Rebex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. Near different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is. Oh, so am I going to all of them? I already, I already did all this. Okay. It does sound cool. You can zoom in. Oh, wow. You can, like, see it. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the adventure. I'm gonna start seeing Venture. Venture is a vibe. Gosen, where'd your eye go? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big lunch. You might not see me with all your eyes, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Nerves getting the better of you? You kidding? I'm a natural at this. Is that so? Funny. I seem to recall the first time you strapped in a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen. It's a satellite. Which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Yep, yeah, one satellite coming up. You will get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Yes, sir. Is this gonna be scary? I'm kinda scared, guys. Okay, but now I'm just, never mind, I have a flashlight. Uh, okay. 
Zero G cave. Nice, let's get me. Me suit on. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello? Hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening dot here lately. Let me think. Where'd your ear go? I'm gonna think of it. Tech to D saw something crash outside the village crater early today. That's new and different. Whoa, I can make my... <laughs> yes. Is anything on fire? Probably only a little. Tech to D checked out a crash site with the old Firewatch scout launcher and saw smoke. So they headed over the stamp out. Any leftover fires? I better get back to work. This ore's not gonna mine itself, you know. Bonk. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's kinda hard. It's kinda hard to like... Where are the other ones? Hard to get used to it. Another one up here? No. Oh, space is how you match your velocity. Okay, so space is how you level out. How do I get out though? Oh, there. Whoa! Ow, man! It was up here. Did that hurt? Whoa! Trick shot. Okay, I have my suit. Okay, zero G doesn't seem too bad. Flying the ship seems like a bit of an issue. Um, but it's okay. Because the game doesn't seem too nicely done, of course. It'll be a bit little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so get the launcher codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best to look out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into your training. Got it? Thanks, Gosan. What a wholesome guy. I'm gonna jump off that thing. Is that up here? Oh. Wait, can I? Is this a bad idea, guys? Did I die in the tutorial? <laughs> Guys, I think I died in the tutorial. Well, guys, that was a fun, um... What? That was a fun game. Uh, tune in next series. And, uh... 
Just kidding. How do we... What? You have to start over when you die? Wait guys, is this game hard? Am I playing Dark Souls? Oh well. I'm having fun either way. This is actually where I left off. Coming over this ledge. So I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go that way. Oh, I never read this. It came some hot. Whoa. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got CRG training set up if you want to refresh. I do. Oh, the observatory is, um, that way, not that way. stand like that, guys. Am I Luffy? I l I'm gonna be King of the Pirates. I'm gonna be King of the Pirates. Why do I got a Luffy type hat on there? from top left. Hornfells is top left. Gosan, my space instructor, top right. Slate, bottom left. We met Slate. He's down there as well. And Feldspar, he's out there. We don't know if he's out there. His flute should be there somewhere. Apparently he's the one everyone knows. But wait, does he have his eye in this one? He does have his eye in that one. Okay. What's this? Timberhurst's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space intentionally. <laughs> Completed the first orbit around Timberhurst and later made the first of what would be many landings on the moon, Adelrock. So the moon is Adelrock. Oh, what's up? Oh my god, it's my favorite ast- Aw, thanks. Launch day at last, huh buddy? The translator tools inaugural flight too. So excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any novi text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it. Oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me. I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training payoff. Thanks, man. So what's the dirt? You gonna see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Abra brought it back from the Giant's Deep. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is... This is it right here. Neat, huh? Maybe wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. It's the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, uh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Bro, I like your fit, man. Your fit goes crazy. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nilmai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look yet at the Nomai. We appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Other artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system. We still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. The Nomai, okay. And I believe that's Hornfell's top left? Wait, let me check again. 
Hornfells. So Hornfells is here too. So the only one who's not here is um Feldspar. Wait, am I Esker? Who's Esker? Interesting. Dude, this game is so pretty. Coming soon. Future sight. If you enjoyed our time with Outer Worlds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. The quest to explore the furthest places of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the stars run out of hydrogen and start to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Okay. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse hard carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Shirt's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Yeah. That's a terrifying concept. What are those? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh, do I... Womp. Womp. That's so cool. Oh my god, wait, can I... Jump? Wow. That's cool. What are you? The anglerfish spe specimen was found attached. Restart. The anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to a living in dark spaces with minimal atmosphere. We have one of those in real life. I mean, it doesn't look as creepy, but know my terminology. Tech whoa. The Nomai technology brought back from space by astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. You see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Oh, cause they... <laughs> you know my body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestries. Ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was, dis whoa, was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, or in celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in this universe, or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xeno 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 archaeological xeno archaeological expeditions. First one. What? Oh crap! We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she always says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Alter Art's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, we'll throw the finder, resume our research. That's so cool. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think crawls the spooky notion? The answer is the moon. 
It orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls an object from a different directions. In fact, it's pulling you right now. It's not moving, though. Okay, it's going up. Circle, circle, circle. Ooh, the whole... What? Holy shit, that's so cool. Wait, to line them up, I just need to go... What, over here? And wait for Dark Bramble to go in line? And I can hear all the sounds? Maybe this way? Huh. I wonder what this planet... I wonder what Timberhurst... Sound is like. Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre flight observations. Local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. We'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. Confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um... I kind of want to meet up with the other travelers. Going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Yep, you can talk to them, make sure they're okay. Maybe get some more knowledge and or tools. Head back out. Let's see. Tritz is on Hourglass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. Gabbro is on Giant's Deep, last I checked. Guys, remember this. I'm gonna go over to the map, and you guys better fucking tell me. I swear to God. Chert. Okay, so Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow, Giant's Deep. And Feldspar is somewhere. Feldspar has been lost for a long time, I'm afraid. On a mere cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on the Adder Rock. They're not a traveler as much as Lunar Local, but I'm sure they appreciate a visit nevertheless. Well then. Looks like that's all that's left to send you a fly. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition. Isn't that kind of unlucky to say before I launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to bore you too much. Our ships are very bit... Oh, our, our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I think I dropped the accent halfway through, but... Okay, Hourglass Twins, Adarok is the moon, Brittle Hollow, I think he said the other one was Giant's Deep. Okay. So. Let's zoom in real quick. Whoa, there's another one I didn't see. The hell is this one? I'm gonna get you. What are you? Huh. Weird. But anyways, to line them up, I'd, I'd go like this. i just look at them all. Yeah. I think here is where it would be easiest. Alright. So we need to go to Hourglass Twins, right? We need to go to Adorok, which is also right there. Riddle Hollow. And I'm pretty sure the other one he said was Giant Steep. Now, Dark Bramble, something bad, but I'm very sure that whatever's name will be there. Feld whatever. Feld Rock. Feld whatever. Um, yeah. We're all ready to go. Launch codes are dash dash. Okay. Oh, I didn't go in here. Whoa. This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. A level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. Gabra Rock claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. 
Whatever that means. Level headed. Gabra Rock claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Try something. Oh, those are the get. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Oh my god. What? I didn't get this far in the tutorial. You are still here. Can I talk to you, buddy? Real quick, one moment. Hello again. Um. Tell me more about Feldspar. I was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with their flight, co flight coach, Gusan. Slate the engineer, and me. Ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gosan did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared him. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. Sorry, test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly. But they did. Blew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day they just didn't come back. I don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since I left. That's all. Um, I kind of want to ask him about the statue that just leaned towards me and peered into my memory. But that's just my little secret. It's so weird. Okay. Well, thank you, buddy. You're a good guy. Say something different? No. Dude, the posture, though, ain't it? Sorry, buddy. Asher's not doing it for me. Hey, hey, so did you get a look at the Nomad statue? Um, looked at me and opened its eyes, buddy. But the, the statue was doing that? So its eyes opened, then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? That's a no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Uh, no, that statue is weird, man. I mean, if you're saying it happened, uh, I guess maybe it did. Why? Wow. The fellas tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue, but the like said they were going back to Giant Steel. I don't know which island they're on, but they would be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabra's, you know, Gabra. Maybe you'd better so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez. Now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey. See if you can use our translator tool to find more about that statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Yeah, no problem. I totally forget which button the translator tool is. So that's interesting. I'm sure it'll tell me when I need to use it. Or I'll look it up if I very much need to use it. Look me down, son. It's over here first. Where are you? Tefra. Hello, astronaut. Are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never come back like Feldspar did? What? That's pretty disturbing, kid. Hornfell says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfell says they got lost in space even though they're the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Wait, 
kill a child in this game. Okay, let's go, let's go this way. Quite dangerous. But how do I get down here? Town. I'll see you later. It's been a pleasure. It's late. Looks like you're ready to take off. The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on a new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Okay, sorry. Alright guys, I'm actually going to leave it here. My shadow, my pointy little ears. Um, but... Oh, it's ears! I'm not Straw Hat Luffy. Those are my ears! Okay. Um, but... It's been real. It's been fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.